Hi, I'm Jay Majaria and I'm a chef and I'm the owner of a restaurant called Jay and we cook modern Korean food. We're going to make a quick uh, salad. Uh, it's basically based on a quick kimchi salad, uh, but we're going to use some very nice seasonal ingredients. We're going to use some baby fennel. Uh, we're going to use some apples, all grown in the UK. And we're going to make the dressing which is our kimchi paste that we make our kimchi with, uh, some kimchi water, and a little bit of olive oil. And then I've also got some of the tops of the fennel, uh, and we're gonna dress the salad with that. Okay, so with this baby fennel, it's really already very, very tender and very nice, so we don't have to take off too much of the outside. So we're just gonna slice it like this. Nice pieces, nice long pieces to go into our salad. So that's our young fennel, it's baby fennel. And then we're going to do our apples as well. So that's our apples and fennel. And we'll just put that into our bowl. Like this. So really nice and really fresh. In that one, I'm going to put in some of the fennel tops in. Add a nice flavour to it. We've got our kimchi paste, and then we'll put some of our kimchi water from, left over from our kimchi. And then we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in. So it's more like a vinaigrette, like a classic dressing. So we get a nice kimchi vinaigrette. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put it over our salad and dress. I'm just going to give that a nice mix so it's fully coated. Actually what we wanted to do was take the texture that you'd get from cabbage and find a different ingredient, find something that is seasonal, something that's local and apply the idea of a classic salad with the gochari and mix them to get together to kind of come up with the idea of that you're still getting the flavour of kimchi, quick kimchi, but actually you're doing it using different ingredients to so say that there's no boundaries in terms of how you can work with this product or how you can work with kimchi. Fennel and apple, gochari, with a kimchi vinegar. And we're going to just finish it off with a few more fresh fennel tops. And that's it. Hi, I'm Justina. I'm in my 50s. I'm living in London, but I'm actually originally from Korea. Hi, my name's James. I'm from the UK. First one I'm trying is going to be the fennel and apples like salad, but it's a kotchari. What I'm interested in, normally Korean people make kotchari with a um, cabbage, but I never really tried kotchari with a fennel and apple, so I think it'd be quite an um, exciting thing. It has a crunchiness like the cabbage, but also it, it, the funnel has its own flavour, so it actually comes with it. So I, I quite like it. It's, it's nice kachari, but it's dif like different flavour. Nice hard texture, not spicy at all. It's got a little bit of kick, but it's not too bad. Try a little bit of apple now. And if you see that these little green bits, I believe these are the tops of the fennel leaf. Just sprinkle on top. And they're pulled with a chilli um, paint, it's quite nice. Sweet and spicy works really well together with the apple. I think um, it will complement the fennel really well. Like danjan danjan is like sweet and like salty. That is a kind of uh, popular flavour. So this is kind of has that sort of a flavour. So it's uh, putting both together for me. So. Nice and sweet. Good crunch. When I eat it together with the funnel, with the apple, 
it actually complement taste together. So the apple is sweet, but it's not that sweet because the funnel has a like nice fresh um, flavor. Works really well for a um, light dish, particularly like a starter, I presume, or a side dish. Normally when you make kotori, we do it kotori with the rice. And maybe I might have a, a one with a seaweed and wrapped it. It would be quite, quite nice taste. It's not too spicy, especially for myself. And it's really nice. And I think I just believe that we can actually make kotori with any types of like crunch uh, vegetables. So it's really good. Um, so we can model menu for that. So it's really nice. So this dish's roots are still strongly firm in Korea, but it's it pulled more to the west. Like a nice break into uh, Korean food, if, especially if you're your first time trying it. Normally when we actually have a kimchi, it's kimchi is not going to be there either. Not the appetizer, it actually is a part of side dishes. So when I had this um, kotchari, it was like, mm, how is it going to work? But I think that one of the um, uh, magic here is olive oil because olive oil makes a huge difference because it doesn't feel like kimchi kimchi you know it's like traditional kimchi we don't really put any olive oil but because of the olive oil it makes this salad and that's really clever today I'm gonna to make for you a roasted bone marrow with kimchi paste pickled onions and scorched rice what we need is one of these cuts. This is a bone marrow cut. It's called a canoe or a boat cut. So it means it's cut along uh, the bone so that you can then see more of the marrow, which is this part in the middle. And that's the part that we want to use. We need to put a little bit of salt onto the marrow. And then we're going to put it straight into the oven. That's already hot. And then we'll roast that. And we wait. So we're going to take the bone marrow out. This is the first stage of cooking, where you have to roast the whole bone marrow all the way through so it's cooked. The marrow is melted. I'm going to put our kimchi paste. This is our kimchi paste. And then we cook the kimchi paste, yeah? So we caramelize it. So all the garlic and the ginger and everything inside it and the gochukaru is, is being cooked. So I'm just spreading evenly across the, the top. Okay, and then it's gonna go back into the oven. This dish, the kimchi bone marrow, the roasted bone marrow with kimchi, uh, is actually based on a sagol tang, but with um, kakdugi. So the idea is that we've taken some of those elements of kimchi uh, on the side, the fatty bone marrow, and the, the pickled flavor, from the kimchi. If you're having it with rice, we wanted to add the nurunji. So what it does, it adds a bit of texture, uh, adds a bit of crunch to it, uh, and it breaks up the marrow, which is quite fatty. And that's it, it's kind of taking uh, a dish that is fairly traditional, uh, but giving it a slightly different approach and slightly more modern. Um, for me, those two flavors of the kimchi and the bone marrow are very, very kind of perfect together. So our bone marrow is ready, and then our kimchi paste is got a little bit of colour to it as well. So you can see the beautiful colour that has come out. Just put it onto our plate. And then we're going to just garnish it. So the first thing we put on is our chives. And then we put our pickled onions. And these have been pickled in chilli. And then our nurunji. And that's it. Uh, this is our kimchi bone marrow. Okay, now we're going to try the bone marrow. Straight away, it's really like jello, like jelly almost. Okay, so this is the bone marrow and I can see nurungji in it. And when I was told about this dish, I thought, oh, sagoltang. You know, well, when we have a sagoltang, normally we actually eat bone marrow in the soup. And then I thought, oh, how it's going to be like? And uh, let's see. Um, okay, 
So I've got a good mix of all the different flavours, the onion and everything in this little bite. Okay, I don't pop it all down my shirt and it goes well. That's amazing. Mm. That's all right. I don't have to have a soup because it's just as it is, it's so good. Bone marrow itself just like melts in your mouth as you put it in. Oh, I have to do more. I have to eat two more. It's so lovely. You get like the sweetness almost from the pickled onion with the crunch of the burnt fries. Get this, like this little bit of spice from the like kimchi paste to paste it over the top of it. Yeah, when you eat chagoltang, normally we put chunky bits of um, kakjugi. So it actually it, it looks like it is disassembled. I think Chef Jay actually disassembled chagoltang and assembled in, in a really special way. Here he's kind of combining like a, the roast English kind of style. The way Korean ingredients, it works really well. I think I could, I could give a, like a hundred percent like uh, praise to the chef Jay. I think he really loves Korean food, and he knows what Korean food is about. And so that's the reason why he can actually disassemble it and assemble it in his own style. And that's really incredible. I'd recommend it to anyone, happily. I'll, I'll probably just be coming back here just out of this. <laughs> So I'm, I'm born here and uh, my parents are of Indian heritage and born in Africa and they're born in Africa I'm born here over the years I've spent a lot of time in Asia uh, I've always loved Korean food uh, so a few years back I decided to go to Korea and and stay there and learn um, how to cook traditional Korean food I went to a culinary school in Seoul and traveled around um, Korea learning the, learning the food when I came back to the UK um, I didn't want to do just Korean, like just traditional Korean. I wanted to uh, cook Korean food through my eyes with an authentic uh, approach to Korean f cuisine. So for me, the, the thing I love the most about Korean food is that it's not just one-sided and it's not just one type. It's very, very multifaceted. Uh, it's also extremely seasonal. When you're over in Korea, it's a very seasonal, seasonally led cuisine. And that really uh, speaks to me because we work with a lot of very hyper seasonal ingredients, uh, local ingredients. Dishes like the bone marrow and the gochari we presented today basically, I mean there wasn't really much difficulty in the sense that we actually uh, like to break down the cuisine. So we took the kimchi as not what it was applied to, like a cabbage, we actually took kimchi as the paste. So we, even though the whole thing is kimchi and, it, and it's obviously ubiquitous, it's on every table. It was really much more about the flavor that we were trying to um, give people and an experience that, oh, this is what this is, and, but we can make it this. Thank you for watching and stay tuned every Friday, Saturday and Sunday for all the amazing content releasing in the upcoming weeks. Remember to stay safe and healthy and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms at Kim Jong Project and KBCE UK on our Facebook and Instagram. Additionally, you can also check out our YouTube channel at Kim Jong Project.